Right, yes, guys, welcome back today. Wrexham FC face Kingsland Town away. So as you can guess, unfortunately, I won't be at the game today. Um, I'll be doing just like a match review after the game. And I just wanted to insert this clip here to give my score prediction. I'm saying it. I'm going to say Wrexham 4, Kingsland 0. Ponticelli is going to get 2. Mullin will get 1. And James Jones will score. I reckon Wrexham are going to demolish Kingsland. This could come back to haunt me. Hopefully it doesn't. Um, but yeah, that is my score prediction. Demolition is the right word to describe that game. What is going on? Wrexham FC have just beaten Kings Lynn Town 6-2 away today in the Vanarama National League. The first time we've scored six since Stockport in the FA Trophy like six, seven years ago. What a crazy last two games Wrexham have had, scoring 11 goals in two games. Just a quick briefing of the match today. The first 0-10 to 10 minutes, Wrexham actually were dominating the early stages. James Jones, Paul Mullen, Harry Lennon, all at having shots on goal, but none of them going in. Lennon as well could have easily had a goal. Um, it said that he missed from just six yards out, put it over the bar. So Wrexham should be leading after 10 minutes. But then on 11 minutes, Michael Cloonan, after all this pressure from Wrexham on a from a 1-2 with his own player, hits it bottom left past Christian Dibble. And this was what I thought was going to be the start of a long day. But on 23 minutes, Wrexham levelled. Aaron Hayden jumping incredibly high. I'll put a picture on the screen now. He rose really high to get the header ahead of the Kings Lynn defender to make it one all. And then from then onwards, the momentum was just with Wrexham. On 52 minutes, so over half an hour later in the second half, Wrexham made it 2-1. Jordan Davis scores after there was a bit of Kings Lynn pressure. Um, but Jordan Davis, like he always does, he doesn't do simple goals. He hit this one and yeah, 2-1 to the Reds on the 53-minute mark. On 64 minutes, we made it 3-1. Paul Mullin rounded the keeper after a poor back pass from the defender. Kings Lynn as well should have made it 2-2 at this point. I think it was Pierce Bird or something had a scissor kick that he, the commentator said he had plenty of time, but he rushed and hit it over the bar. So it should have been 2-2, but seconds later, Wrexham, Paul Mullin being the devastating striker he is, made it 3-1. And the goals just continued to come in on 73 minutes. It was 4-1 to Wrexham. Paul Mullin, I'm saying his name a lot because he's one hell of a striker. Mullin unselfishly squares it to Jordan Ponticelli for number four as Wrexham the fourth goal went in it was a it, we knew we were going to get all three points now and then there was a bit of a brawl between the players uh there was a late challenge or follow-through up on Paul Mullin from Pierce Bird the Kingsland defender and then it all sort of started to kick off a bit um loads of players in a brawl hall Johnson got booked I think um and then they were all like in the stand bit in the stewards had to rush down so there's a bit of a brawl nothing too nothing too but i just wanted to talk about to be honest on 88 minutes though kings lynn did actually pull one back um linton was through on goal after some poor rex and defending so yeah 4-2 this is after a spell of domination from rex and but a slight cock up at the back meant linton pulled one back with around 120 seconds to go. Wrexham weren't done there though. 91 minutes, Jarvis makes it 5-2 after James Jones slots it across for him, an empty net gaping for Jarvis to put the ball into, and that's what he did. Super sub Dan Jarvis made it 5-2. And the last goal of the, day, of the day, number six, Cameron Green is there to tap home after a hooked ball in from Jordan Ponticelli to make it 6-2. Two subs scoring within the last five minutes or so. So number six, what a day to cap off an incredible game. So yeah, my man of the match, it's going to have to be either Paul Mullin or Jordan Ponticelli. It sounded like they had really good games, but I'm going to have to give it to Mullin. Running his heart off as usual. Crazy, crazy. Got an assist, got a goal. It sounded like he was chasing after every last ball and he was up for it. Um, and my match rating, I'm going to give it a 5 out of 5. The first 5 out of 5 I think I've ever given. Who? Why can't you though when it's 8 goal thriller? 
Um, but yeah, 11 goals in two games to the Reds. Come on. Yeah, if you did enjoy, make sure to drop a like. Drop a comment down below what you thought on the game. Hit the red subscribe button if you haven't already with the post notifications on. And I'll see you guys in another video. Take care.